Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to have fun. I'm going to share with you um, some wig fails that I've had, um, things that I've learned along the way, along my wig journey, and um, hopefully you can learn <laughs> from some of my mistakes. Uh, the first wig that I had tried was three years ago when I had uh, lost my hair for the first time. And I really had no clue what I was doing. I hadn't really done any research, uh, you know, on what I should be looking for and uh, just kind of started shopping online. And I ended up on um, a website called Uptown Wigs and found um, a human hair wig for about $30. And I thought, oh, this is great. And um, I did find this one and it's... The brand name is It's a Cap Weave, and I've had to, I did a lot of tweaking to it. I put bangs in it. Um, I had to um, pluck some hairs out of the part to try to make it look more natural, and also did some plucking on the, the hairline in the front, because uh, I was having a lot of issues with that, trying to make that look more natural. So anyway, are you ready? <laughs> Here it goes. So I was looking at it again this morning and it's, I think it's, of course it's been stored, um, but I can probably try to do something with it. At the, like I said, the, the banks have been the issue right along and, um, you know, right now they're sticking straight up and the wig did come uh, naturally curly. So I've been fighting with them to try to be straighter and it was initially, um, the parts right here and it's you know permanent part and so I was trying to train the bangs to kind of be you know more in a line um, and what I really hated about the wig is it really looked wiggy here like there's a, a speed bump <laughs> it's definitely not a lace front um, so I was trying to thin out some of the hair um, to try to make it look more natural and um, so anyway, needless to say, I it did not last very long. I maybe wore it for a couple months and I just kind of gave up at that point and went back to wearing my hats. So fast forward about a year later, my hair had grown back and it completely fell out again. <laughs> um, and I did wear hats for, you know, about a year and uh, then I decided to try wigs again. The next wig that I tried uh, was from Amazon and you know it's only about twenty dollars and it's the entranced comes from the entranced styles and I kind of surprised um, my family with this around the holidays. Uh, my husband had I mean we had talked about that I was probably going to be uh, trying wigs again and you know he's always been very supportive and I had talked to my co-workers as well and um, you know they've also been very supportive of whatever I want to try um, so at any rate uh, my poor family I showed up with this wig uh, during our holiday get-together some people were on zoom and some you know were present but this color was totally <laughs> way too dark for me, I thought. Um, and you can see my first attempts here to cut a bang. <laughs> I do like the style. This is very similar to uh, what my bio hair looked like. You know, it was never quite this full. Um, I've done a lot of work to this wig. It really... Um, had like a mushroom cap appearance so I did a lot of thinning on the sides I did a lot of thinning on the bang um, and I really can't do too much with them at this point because uh, I I can't have them any shorter <laughs> but definitely a blunt bang but for twenty dollars it's not a bad wig um, so I may just you know 
I don't think I'll be keeping this one uh, because of the color. Maybe when I get more color this summer, it'll look a little better on me. <laughs> but I didn't dare wear this one to work. Uh, so I did continue with the Amazon shopping experience and got another uh, wig from Entrance Styles um, in a blonde color. And this one was a little better, although the um, you can definitely see the mushroom appearance here, even though I have uh, done some thinning on this one as well. The root is uh, black, which is a little too dark for me. And um, this one wasn't, well, I think I've, I've worn, I did wear this one for a while. Um, so it is showing its age a little bit. So not too bad, but I was making progress. <laughs> and I did have one more Amazon wig. This one um, was from the Unicorn, Blonde Unicorn. And this is supposed to be what it looked like. And um, you see my, I have a little note there to just wear it with hats because <laughs> there is not much hair to show the wefting on, uh, to cover the wefting, I should say. Um, uh, again, I had to do some plucking in the hairline and I did trim the bangs. Um, again, not the greatest job with the bangs on this one. But you can see, especially in the back, it, it wouldn't take much, you know, a little breeze here and there that you can definitely see the wefting. Um, the rest of the wig, you know, is not bad. And again, I, pro I might wear it with a summer hat. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that goes. And then I was moving on to a little more expensive wigs. Uh, this one came, I think again from uh, Motown, not Motown Tress, but um, Uptown Wigs, and it's a Motown Tress wig. And it's a uh, flirt, I really love the style. Um, again, it's um, what I've always wanted my bio hair to look like, even you know for the past 30 years. Um, I've always tried to achieve that style, but my hair was always too thin to really um, kind of make it look like I wanted it to. And the color on this one is uh, 27FT13. And I had another uh, flirt wig. I'm not sure if I bought it after or before this one, but I like the colors. Uh, so I thought I was buying the similar thing. Um, but I think the keywords here are frost patchy. Well, the color is definitely patchy. <laughs> But I do like the style. So as you can see, this, you know, the 613, the really bright blonde is there. Um, but then the, the color is just, like it says, like patchy. Um, I do love the style. I love the cut of the wig. Um, but I don't feel like I could wear this as an everyday wig or even to work. Uh, I do prefer the shorter wigs for work anyway, but um, I might wear this, you know, as a costume wig or um, uh, to a festival, some, you know, when I just want a playful, fun kind of wig. Um, and I don't think if I had hair, I would have it dyed this way. But. I hope you had fun with me today. Um, it's definitely been a journey for me. I never, like I said, when I first started wearing wigs, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> didn't pay attention to my face shape and what styles of hairstyles would look better on my face shape 
or colors would look better with my coloring. And, um, you know, I'm glad that I did go with the cheaper wigs. I learned a lot with um, how to make them my own, with trimming the bangs, learning how to thin a wig, and uh, styling a wig. And uh, so all of that was very helpful. I don't, I don't think I would have wanted to do that with, you know, a much more expensive wig. I, and I don't like to spend too much on my wigs. Usually less than $100 is plenty for me. And I'm always looking for those uh, clearance sales. But let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I've got more uh, videos coming, uh, more wig reviews. And I'm wishing you a great day.